After a year and a half of enduring the pandemic, a beloved part of downtown Guthrie has faced another setback. The historic Poly Theater was welcoming guests once again when Mother Nature stopped them in their tracks. News 4's Lauren Daniels reports. It's been a tough year and a half, but you already know what those here are saying. The show must go on. It's the essence and nature of of life performance to, to have to jump over hurdles and put out fires and sometimes the hurdles are just a little high. The Pollard Theater looked just like this, quiet and empty for the better part of 2020 and part of 2021. When things started to look up, so did the cast and crew, returning to the over 100 year old Guthrie icon. We uh, kicked off with a uh, benefit concert. And then it kind of felt like we were off to the races. Everything seemed to be going well. We were in the midst of rehearsals. Everybody was really excited. Our audiences were super excited to be coming back. But there were problems. And after we returned, we noticed that some of our equipment was out, uh, specifically our air conditioning units. And uh, upon inspection, they said, hey, it looks like one of your units was struck by lightning. Whoever said that lightning can't strike the same place twice has never been in a theater, I guess. They were able to get temporary equipment to use for their first show, but it wasn't a permanent or viable solution for their next one. As far as timing goes and um, trying to get the lighting, you know, it, it's just, it, ran, it just it was impossible. They're borrowing some equipment to get through the season, but that's not a practical solution that can last forever. They say it's time to ensure the Pollard remains a bright light in this city. There was a time when Guthrie was a booming city, and this was like the hub of entertainment. People would line up here to come see all the shows. It's time to roll up our sleeves and raise some serious funding to ensure that this infrastructure lasts for another you know, 20, 30, 100 years. In Guthrie, Lauren Daniels, Oklahoma's News 4. The lighting and repairs are going to be very costly, though. The theater company says they have more information on their website and social media about how you can donate if you'd like to help. Their hope is to return for their holiday program in November.